Hey guys, welcome to Emily's Legends walkthrough of Paper Mario without your door. Today we are just going to put these things in place. I don't know why. I, I, I called this an upside down turtle before. I don't know, it's just right here reminds me of the head, and the things in the middle remind me of the feet, and the other side reminds me of the tail. So I just call it a turtle. I don't know why. See, now it doesn't look like a turtle, but before, it kind of did look like a turtle. So what you want to do here is, on the other side, there's another blue box, and you want to hit both of them at the same time. It's kind of hard to do, but it is doable. You just gotta, you know, time it right. There we go. That's basically what that little saying says right in the middle there. I didn't read it because I knew what to do already. So there was no reason to read it. Anyway, that'll break apart, and you are free to jump in the pipe. Yeah. So now we're going to Hotel's Castle. I'm going to save real quick because I haven't saved in a while. And... This is Hooktail's Castle. Right across that hole in the wall, a uh, hole in the floor that is just too large for Mario to jump over. Oh man, Hooktail's Castle. The stories were all true. The place is terrifying. Uh, but we're not going across right now. We're going to go underneath. Because there is a badge down here. And I kind of want to get it. I'm probably not going to use it. But I want to get it anyway. Alright, now now we're going to go across the thing. Across the uh, bridge. But in an unorthodox way. Technically, we're not going to go over the bridge. We'll walk over the bridge. We're going to fly over the bridge. Because if you remember, we have that new power that we haven't used in a while. Alright, now we are officially inside Hooktail's castle. So, uh, what do I want to do? I'm going to put out Goombella because we have some new enemies that I want to tattle on. Oh, oh, I didn't see him coming. Super guard. Oh, never mind. No super guard. No super guard for me. That's a Koopa, uh, Koopa Paratoopa. Um, well, it's basically a Koopa Troopa's wings. Max HP is four, attack is two, and defense is one. I kind of hate that these guys get to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him and it'll plunge down, and it'll be a plain Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that, and he's ours. Stomp again to flip him, and his arms and legs are useless. Oops. Sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle them around a bit. So, what am I going to do? Alright. I'm just going to take these out one at a time. Super guard! Oh, never mind. I just did a regular guard. Yeah, I'm not very good. I, like I said before, there are some enemies, for some reason, that I cannot super guard. And these are one of them. Don't know why. Just can't super guard... I can super guard regular regular Koopas. And I'm using a lot of multi bounces because I'm about to get a level up anyway, so I might as well just use you know my abilities. Multi bounce. But anyway, that is a paratrooper. I recommend you taking them down as fast as possible because like I said. For some reason, I think it's easier to guard a regular Koopa Troopa, but not Paratroopa. And luckily we get a level up, because I was low on FP and Goombella was low on HP. Uh, let's see, I did HP and FP, so now it is time for BP. Right? BP. Even though I really don't have any badges to use yet, I still want to try to keep it even. I think I'll just put on the HP Plus that I got. Happy Heart kind of sucks. It's like every three turns you get one flower. It's some some stupid number like that. But anyway, I'm going to speed this up because you don't want to watch me fight another battle with Koopa Troopas. It's not that interesting. You know I'm going to win without taking damage. Because I'm good like that. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, moving on. Oh, oh. Now I'm gonna take damage, because I can't fight 
prepared. I hate these things so much. But oh well, what can you do? We gotta fight them. They're worse enemies to fight than Koopa. So what's in this box over here? You know, let me get these coins. What's in this box over here? Ooh, power bounce. This is actually, believe it or not, my favorite, well, one of my favorite attack-based badges. You'll see me using it a lot later. In fact, it might be the only attack badge I have on. Everything else might be, like, plus this or, you know, spike resistance. Oh, oh no! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's, there's no doubt about it. It's my father. Dad! Um, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his, uh, bones are. So, what do you, what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, let's go. Read it. Um, okay, I can do this. I, I'll read it. Ahem. I came to this castle, the store hotel, but I'm stuck and can go no further. So in this letter I shall note Hookdale's weakness for those who follow. The dread Hookdale cannot tolerate creatures without beginning with Kerr and end with Ickit. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hookdale's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hookdale, one must first find that item. One last thing, if faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you become. Huh? My son, Colorado? Not Coops? Easter egg from the first game. Oops. Um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this is my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. So we have to find it, something that starts with Kerr and ends with Ike. Blarf, harf, harf, harf. You clearly don't value your lives much if you come to the castle of the service. You will go no further, and from this moment on, you will be nothing but bones. Alright, I'm gonna cut it here, you guys. Uh, what are they doing? Ouch, it's no use, Mario. They're all over me, man. What should we do? I'm gonna cut here, guys. This has been MVG Legends Walkthrough of Paper Mario's Out in Your Door. Tune in next time, where we take out the red... Bones.